Let's take one more exercise in SolidWorks. This is a kind of Japanese knife, Shuriken knife modeling. Okay, you will see this is the isometric view. All dimensions are in millimeter. All unspecified fillets are four mm. Okay, so this is the R two view. This is top view. This is side view. Now we are going to start from one side. You will see internal diameter fourteen, external diameter thirty. and how much width you will see in this section 12 mm depth and corner fillet here given 4 mm you will see this is both side okay so i am going to choose top plane sketch and here i am going to draw a two circle activate circle draw two circle right click and select an out of the sketch smart dimension 30 okay and internal diameter is 14 mm fine now go to feature and activate extruded boss based feature because i want to add material here and this is sketch based feature now here start condition i am going to keep same but end condition i am going to change i am going to keep mid plane so that material flow both side equally above and below the sketch how much 12 mm see now let's come here we have to add this one this five typical this depth 5 mm now maximum distance 9 minimum here you will see 8 then total from here to here okay then at the end 55 mm from here 20 mm from here to here the first step then this uh, diameter uh, 4 mm and uh, this vertical diameter 8 mm let's see first uh, front plane sketch activate line exit now this distance make 20 plus 55 okay activate line here start from here connect okay smart dimension 5 now select point and this one if i move cursor outside it will show you diameter inside radius so this diameter 9 and similarly this end 8 see again go to line activate line tool and here create our half now go back and convert this line into arc and draw a shape like this press escape key to out radius 2 mm means diameter going to be 4 and distance from here to center 8 mm diameter 8 mm okay now what uh, we can do now i want to add material in circular way so you have to apply revolve boss base feature now due to this construction line this is a uh, cancel and close this because we have more than two close body one open and one close not it will not accept both should be close or both should be open now see axis this center line selected as a axis of revolution keep end condition blind and 360 degree unmerge result this because uh, i want to make copy of this see okay now here we have more than we have three bodies now we forget to add fillet fillet type constant size tangent propagation symmetry radius 4 and profile circular so i am going to select this face and inside face okay see now let's add this center one 55 mm from here to here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 total 12 number of things linear pattern 
here select body which body this one starting phase select this phase now space and instances space how much 5 see and number of instances total number of instances 12 we already counted right say okay see but these all are separate body we have to combine it so before going to combine let's solve some problem see this is not going to attach so i'm i want to attach with this at both the end this is also you will see so there is one option i want to move body go to direct editing move face okay clear choose your offset 2 mm select this inside face now you will see preview this is moving 2 mm inside similarly come to this side select this in face you will see here this is also move 2 mm inside say okay if i am going to say hide see this is outside let me show but first we have to i want to apply here fillet because i don't want to let me apply here fillet see this is not going to select select this one this one no you have to combine this so let me choose combine feature now you will see here too many bodies so you have to combine all the body and make one so let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 or even you can select from here and this is the last one say okay now here only one body now what material given so that drawing alloy steel let me apply alloy steel so that edit material alloy steel 77 kg per cubic meter apply close now show okay that looks more practical even if you want to add some appearance brush nickel oh it looks more realistic now let's add this knife portion you will see width 4 depth 8 this is a kind of you will see this shape so how you can achieve this shape 24 mm okay then from here to here total length 188 40 mm 20 mm let's see how we can achieve select this okay before going to let me choose one plane plane select this and here apply 24 mm because the gap between these two plane is 24 now first i am going to select this face sketch now here draw a diagonal so for diagonal i am going to activate center rectangle here select for construction activate line tool and draw one diagonal center point mid point mid point mid point mid point connect press escape key to out smart dimension now this one given 4 and uh, this dimension 8 look it seems fully defined this sketch exit now come to this plane one sketch i am going to do the same thing center rectangle i want to draw a diagonal so make it bigger for construction activate line and connect midpoints all midpoints all four war smart dimension 40 20 look it seems fully defined finish and exit now comes here go to lofted boss base now here choose two profile so i am going to select first this one second this one you will see both nodes in one line that's why we are going to get this shape now rest keep as it is see now 
top plane sketch let me draw line press escape key 188 activate here point and i want to apply one point here exit see this point exit now go to lifted boss base clear now here let me select this face and select this point you will see the shape going to create say okay at the end merge tangent faces and merge result okay let me hide this plane look the shuriken knife is created this is simple tutorial for beginners i hope you like it don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our tutorial for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching